Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome back. It's the welcome to back To viewers' song. letters. Except they're not viewers. <laughs> welcome is... back to Points of View <laughs> with Jeremy Vine. <laughs> does he speak like that? He kind of does. Oh, okay. A little bit Captain Kirk. But with Tim Vine whimsy. Tim Vimes we. Mm. And of course it used to be all Terry Wogan. Oh, Ever so nice. Yeah. Nobody can. Oh. You can't beat his dulcet tones. Let's see what Anne from Shropshire's got to say. She says, Dear BBC, you're all cunts. Oh, you know what, Anne? We are. We are all cunts. That's it. He, like, he would he'd get these letters, he'd read them out, and they'd be like, Well, well, I'm sorry to hear you say that. And then just like, go off on a story about how yeah. you know life was better in a different time or something. <laughs> or something. But I'm old, so I don't really care. I don't really give a shit. <laughs> I'd love to hear him reading just some foul nonsense. Mm. That'd be brilliant. I don't think that ever happened. No. No. Sad times. Sad times. But no. it probably did happen, but it might yeah, not have been recorded. Be. Yeah. Somebody hack the BBC and find out. <laughs> hack the Beeb! Why else do we pay licence fees? Except to hear Terry Wogan swears. Mm. Bring back the dead. Bring, bring back, back the, the dead. dead. <laughs> What do I pay my license fee for if not to bring back the dead? Come on, BBC, you can do it. Anywho. Oh, yes. So we've still earned a letters paid from something else since we don't have any. Yeah. Uh, we, we, I, whatever way you want to look at it, don't you judge me. So there was going to be a continuance. Ah, uh, yes. Let's get back to the continuance. The thrilling conclusion. To Man on a Train, previously in Rush Hour Crush. Oh, right, yeah. I've been wondering for days if I'm the battlefield woman. Ooh. Why are you wondering? Surely you would know. <laughs> well, <laughs> I carry a mole, M O W L E, mole pack. Right. Don't so. know what that is. Could Google it, won't. Don't know that kind of thing. I carry a mole pack for work and often have a thousand yard stare. IT engineer. Ah. Mm. Nope, don't get it. Nope, me neither. Hopefully, maybe maybe she's on the cyber battlefield. Ah. And she's killing viruses. Yeah. what Take that. We've all seen that documentary with the bright lights and the dude. Mm. We've all seen that documentary, Reboot, from 1995. <laughs> We've all seen that documentary, Hackers. That documentary, Johnny Mnemonic. Hack the planet! <laughs> Let's not. Let's calm let's, your tits. Let's not, guy who I'm pretty sure was married to Angelina Jolie very briefly. Ahem. <laughs> this requires quite. This is going to take a while. Did we finish the letter from Battlefield Woman? Yeah, that is the end of Battlefield Woman. It was just signed off. Uh, her her pseudonym was IT Engineer. Oh, okay. So she's like, it could be me. Yeah. Maybe Question it's, mark. Maybe it's me. Do you know what a mall bag is? Mall pack? Because, <laughs> but that's not that's not a decent reply. All she's saying there is, I could I am a person. Yeah. Who is also on a train? I'm a person that could possibly be identified by the things you have said. Also, I have a troubled look. <laughs> yeah. Sex? <laughs> not even that. It's not even saying, oh, come over, say hi, or anything like that. Mm. Just, just. I'm a person. I could be this person. Thank you for writing. I acknowledge receipt of your communications. <laughs> this is my RSVP. Good day. All right. Robot woman. To the girl in the white dress who had been out celebrating her friend Kyla's birthday. I want to stop it there. Kyla. K-Y-L-A. You, you just sound like you're a budget Star Wars villain. If her surname is Ren, W-R-E-N, I'm calling bullshit on that being her name. After a very long day at work, you were the highlight. Trying to get the carriage to sing happy birthday. Oh, the narrator oh. from Pocket Bunny seems to be here. Hello. She was drunk, I see. Mm. 
We kept looking at each other, and I would have asked for your number, were it not for the fact the entire carriage was frowning at us. Maybe a bottle of bubbles for two next time? Only person who sang. So what you're doing there is you are admitting that you entertained yep. these drunk people. You really annoyed a whole carriage full of people. It doesn't say if it was full, but I'm going to assume there was at least 75. Oh, yeah. Crammed in there. Just yep. jammed in like a Tokyo. I mean, it's called Rush Hour Crush, right? So it must have been during Rush Hour. Exactly. And there was about, I imagine this There's about betting. 150 people in that carriage that day. And only the drunk girls, Kyla and her lasses, out on the town, they were singing, and they got one desperate stranger to join in. Yeah. And now he's just like, oh, please, please, validate my existence by touching my winky. Oh, please. We've all been there. <laughs> That's how you and I became friends. Yes. <laughs> Mutual validation. Or something like that. <clears throat> That's what they call it. Mm. We don't need labels. Next crush. <laughs> that sounds like the announcer on like a reality TV show where yeah. it, all it is is a camera at a car crusher. That no, that could be uh, like a TV version of Tinder. Like they come out and they get the person swipes whichever way is negative, and you, the voice of the goes next, next crush, crush. and you're just like oh. Convey about. Uh, I think if nah. you go if you go through enough nose, then it, uh, you get to like the m- 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 mega crush, <laughs> <laughs> and that's when they bring out the ultra hotty. Yeah, but then the problem is he sticks with you, and like you know you get to the end of the day, and then you're doing some sex, and then she's like ah oh, ah oh, ah, oh, and all of a sudden out of nowhere you're just like finish her. I'm sure this next thing you know you can't come without a loudspeaker. After years of playing video games, what more do I expect? <laughs> the, o- the only way that I know that I've actually achieved something is when everybody else is dead and there's a voiceover man going, Finish him! <laughs> Wanktality. <laughs> Olaf, bath time, wins! Always. <laughs> splishy, splishy, splash. Splish, splash, splash, splash. <laughs> yes. I'm going to do a... Do a side project. I'm going to do one. You do a side project. Um, that bit can come out, obviously. Yes. We won't tell them about the side project. It'll be a surprise. Surprise side project. Whoa! Whoa! Where did that come from? Surprise side project is what I... <laughs> 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 when I'm on a bus and it's standing room only and I just turn to the left and just start just gently jabbing. Gently. <laughs> just... Secret... And like men, yeah, rubbing men, up against someone. Men, women, whatever it is, they're just just in the side of their buttock, just top of the thigh. Just yeah. like, is that? Is yeah. that it? Yep, that's an erection. That's a penis. Yeah. And I just lean over and I whisper, "Surprise side project," <laughs> and get off at the next stop, <laughs> hoping one day to so have a rush. Get off at the next stop. Oh, I thought you were getting off on the bus. There we go. Shit. <laughs> Can't use any of that frottery. That, is it frottery? Frottery. Yeah, frotting. Good old frot. Ooh. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, but you enjoy rubbing yourself against strangers. <laughs> Frotterists. Mm. <laughs> the frotteristo. The frotterist society. Mm. Frotteristacy. Anyway, what were we saying? Anywho. Oh. From long blonde hair. <sighs> right. Long Another blonde th- hair what? Right, hang on. This is because it's really awkward to read because something else on Rush Hour Crush is the punctuation is sometimes bad. So this reads, long blonde hair black, dressed with white dots. <laughs> what they mean is, long blonde hair, comma, black dress, with white dots. That comma is in the wrong place. Long blonde hair black, comma, dressed with white dots. This is wrong. This is wrong. This is wrong. Now, I don't know whether it's Metro's fault. I don't know whether it's the long blonde. I mean, let's face it, who knows where that comma could be, actually. Like, long blonde, hair black, dressed with white dots, maybe. Yeah, there could be another comma in there. Yeah. This has all gone wrong. I hate you, long blonde. All we know for sure is long. (laughs) Because the comma can't come before long. Yeah, the exact opposite of me. The one thing you know, not long. (laughs) Not long. Whether that's to live or anything else. Anywho. Yet again, tall, dark and handsome, 
What do you mean, long blonde hair black? What about them, Mr. Hack? Tall. Oh, this, but th- this Maybe. bit, tall, dark and handsome. Oh, you got your fucking comma right there. Well, yeah, that's the important bit. Mm. Identifying yourself, not that important. Mm. Tall, dark and handsome man with a beard. Oh, that fucking narrows it down in 2017. At Morgate on Wednesday at 5pm. You walk towards the tube and I walk the other way when we made eye contact. I turned around and so did you. I walked on, then turned around and tried to see you again. There seems to be a bit missing there about where he went. Yeah. Take me out! I'm not sure if they're insinuating that, you know, oh, I was hoping you were Hitman from the video yeah, game. I was going to say. Hitman. And just... It's time to complete the mission. <laughs> yeah. I don't As want to say. live. I took out the hit on myself. I've only got three months. God damn it, this is how I want to die. Oh, man. Maybe it is that tragic a story. Mm. It probably isn't. But maybe. You never know with Rush Hour Crush. Or Long Blonde Hair Black. Mm, long Blonde Hair Black. Dress with white dots. When you say Long Blonde Hair Black, it does make it sound like a shipping forecast. <laughs> <laughs> long Blonde Hair Black. Good. Dress. North at Sierra South at Sierra. <laughs> Dress with white dots. <laughs> I feel like there's there's a lot of really English heavy stuff in these podcasts, but well, go figure. We're fucking English. Yeah, like if you if you're not going to meet us halfway and learn everything about the BBC shipping forecasts to understand what North at Sierra South at Sierra is, if you don't understand that reference, mm. well, you're on YouTube. Go and Google it on YouTube. Yeah, they own YouTube. one owns the other. I'm not entirely sure which. Yeah, something I brought up before as well with Jenga was. There feels to me to be sometimes a bit of assumption about the sexuality of the people that you're witnessing, because like it, it's always. Oh, you mean on, on the train? Yeah. So, I, I, so like, I, when you said the people you're witnessing, I thought you were talking directly to the audience, and I'm like, <laughs> sometimes we feel like you assume too much about this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I was wondering where you were going. It's only been said that we were married, some of us. We never said to what gender slash sex slash non-specific pronoun. Exactly. No, so yeah, I agree. Yeah, you know, whenever you see these things, that people always assume. Yeah, it's that like, they have the same. I fancy you. You must be straight. Or I fancy you. You must be gay. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it was just brought to mind by this one in particular, not because it is a guy on guy one, but. It just made me think, partially because, this is from shy, crazy Swede guy with beard. Again, narrows it down in 2017. I think the first three do a pretty good job of narrowing it down. <laughs> the shy, crazy Swede. Oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Them Swedes. Yeah, well, yeah. Can, you, can you ever find one? Mm? Well, and as we know, yeah, they do have some crazy antics. Crazy. To the handsome, bald, Algerian man on the number 87 bus to Chafalo Square. Now... The reason I bring this up is because mm, Algeria is pretty heavily Muslim. Ooh, I think you want to watch who you might be calling out as a gay man. <laughs> <laughs> like, ooh, you don't know their familial situation. Uh, yeah, true. Maybe a cousin is reading this and he's like, oh, you know, uh, Mohammed gets the number 87 bus to Trafalgar Square. He's bald. Yeah. He introduced me to his new Swedish friend. Yeah. Wait a second. <laughs> Ma. <laughs> I think Mohammed's gay. What did you say? No, no not no, that one. No, 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 no. No. This is why it's so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I drew. Mom, I drew a picture of Mohammed. You fucking what? No, Mom, not that one. <laughs> anyway, handsome, bald, Algerian, eighty-seven. Number 87. He wasn't 87. He might be 87. I don't know. He's bald. Say that, yeah. yeah. Our eyes met and we smile every day. You'd never get further. He might just be really friendly, shy, crazy, sweet. Calm down. How about we skip hello and go for coffee? That's F O R coffee, not go for coffee. <laughs> Let's go for coffee. Yeah, you know, in Swedish. Oh, like, well, you know, how about you go for coffee? Okay. Then. And, you know, you got. Algerian, so he's going to be, you know, maybe speaking a bit Arabic, French, and you got Swedish mixing in there. Oh, it's going to be a, a big old maelstrom of languages. What language do you think they'll orgasm in? Because there was that test 
that t when there were spies infiltrating Germany, well, female spies anyway, their way of essentially ratting them out, finding them out, was they would allow them to kind of you know fall in love, get married, whatever, get pregnant by a German officer maybe, and they would have a member of the Gestapo or the SS or whatever, they would have them come in when they were giving birth because their natural screams would be in their, their language. Yeah. So if it was an English spy, they, they would naturally... They could give away by yeah, screaming out in English. If they're screaming, fucking hell! Like, ah, this oh, is English. And we got you! <laughs> <laughs> it Nine months of planning and a prayer up at last. It only took a year to build a relationship <laughs> and the marriage and the, the childbirth. And now I would like you to meet our youngest agent... Little Gunter. Ha 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 ha. He trains them young. Because kept making caricatures of, of Nazi German officers never goes out of fashion. Oh no. We're English. <laughs> True. But I, I wonder if as well, if that also rings true for an orgasm. You know, your toe curling, your eyes rolling in the back of your head. You're turning Japanese. I think you're turning Japanese. I really think so. You know, Good reference there. Thank you. Do you just, you know, do you emit? Yeah, proclaim? Yeah. In your natural tongue? You know, if they're like, oh yeah, talk to me, baby. And you, you know, you're going whole hog. And it's like, oh yeah, oh, this is good. Oh, oh, mein Krankenschwester. <laughs> mm, yes. Mm. And then it's like, oh yes, get it out my dick. <laughs> <laughs> it's when they climax and go, oh, I just like my dick. <laughs> Again. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh darn, I've been ratted out by Jerry again. <laughs> Jerry's cat caught me out. No, no. Lucky for me, she's blind now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Toodle terrible. Indeed. So yeah, how many? I I don't know. I I think the uh, ones of uh, guys ranked to guys uh, because gay guys like to brag about their gaydar. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like oh yeah, we can always tell. Yeah. We can always tell. You're like well, sometimes you can't. Mm. No, no, we can always tell. Mm. Yeah, you don't know. No, sometimes you can't. Mm. Yeah, we can always. Uh, you're not. No. No. You're really not because I'm gay right now. Well, uh, well, yeah, there's that. Uh, but the other thing because is Because, that... after all, homosexuality is a choice. Oh, homosexuality oh. and depression, they're both choices. Yeah, so snap choose, out of it. Choose not to be or choose to be. For it's God's sake, it's Make very simple. Yeah. Act, oh, don't act like it isn't, guys. I, I make the conscious choice. Every time I see a dick, I look at it and I go, uh, no, thank you. I will not put that in my mouth or my bottom today. Good day. <laughs> Tip of the hat to you, sir. <laughs> My gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> I see you're swinging leather, sir. Perhaps a towel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. No penis for me today. But thank you, ever so, for the offer. <laughs> so, so British of us. No, no, I couldn't possibly. I'm, <laughs> I'm full up on vagina. <laughs> <laughs> I had quite a hefty helping of moip this morning. Yeah, I, I, am... cou I couldn't possibly. Oh. <laughs> no, no. Tempting, tantalising, though it is. Why not no, ask, I mean, the, ask the Algerian man over there? I'm sure he'd love it. Sure I'm sure he'd love a piece of your schlong. If not, there's a shy, crazy Swede. <laughs> on the same bus. Uh, if not, there's someone over there, long blonde hair black, I believe her name was. Yeah, she might, <laughs> she might be up for it. Yes. But no, yeah, well, the, the gay died. Yeah, because you're human, right? Mm. Humans are fallible, you could be wrong. Mm. Could be, could be. As we've adequately demonstrated. Oh, God, yes. About people being wrong, I mean. Fallible, more like phallic. Well-educated lads, 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 lads. You well-educated for that, didn't you? How many dumb people do you know that would know the term phallic? And how many well-educated people do you think would recognise the term sapphic? Mm. That's an interesting question. Do you recognise the term sapphic? <laughs> sapphic or sophic? Sapphic. Or suffix. <laughs> Stop saying other words to get you out of the situation. <laughs> Suffolk, I recognise it, but I don't. I, I couldn't define it. Suffolk is essentially the opposite of phallic. Oh, it was because uh, that derives from the Isle of Sapphos, and that is where lesbians are associated. I'll be honest; I don't know the full backstory of why, but 
Suffolk derives from Sapphos and Suffolk is funny. Vagines. Vaginese. Suffolk is to vagina as Valley <laughs> is to penis. <laughs> oh, I'm filling in my SATs. Anyway, back to this last little crush right, yeah, give, give us another nugget from the paper. To the cute brunette at King's Cross late Thursday night watching It's a Wonderful Life on her tablet, even though it's only July. Maybe we could make a wonderful life together. That's from the man who'd give you the moon. Oh my god. I love these ones, though. The people who, like... It's like, hey, I understand what you were watching, and I'm going to reference they, Yeah, they try and make a reference to kind of bridge the Ooh. gap. Ah, oh, yeah, those are great ones. I like them. Mm. I mean, it, it's definitely... Uh, I like them definitely because they're ridiculous and cheesy, and I hope <laughs> they never work. Yeah. But I like them. Oh, that's a thing. Go die. God loves a tryer, yeah. apparently. And that's why he doesn't exist. I oh, treat, I treat my rush hour crushes like I treat my women. I just plow through them. <laughs> not like a not like a field then. No, I, I run in the wheat fields naked with prime ministers. Ah <laughs> yes, future prime ministers. Mm. Oh, this is ever such fun. <laughs> Hopefully the farmers don't catch us. Teresa, why do you always sound sad? Stop it! I'm on the verge of a mental breakdown. You're just all so stupid. Why did you vote to leave? You don't know how hard it is. <laughs> Tell us more. From Admirer, Manchester. Oh, uh, creepy. Yeah. I saw you on Wednesday afternoon at Piccadilly Station in Manchester. Oh, now, this, I, I picked this up because there is going to be a thread continued in the next one. This will play into, it's not a, a thread thread, but it's something I'm noticing on quite a few. You were the tall black queen with cropped green hair and piercings. I was the tall black woman. We said hi to each other. I would love to say more. We'll pick it up on the next podcast, but I want to... <laughs> I was about to say, I want to go into a black queen. <laughs> Think about it. <laughs> we will, oh, of course we will delve deep. No. no. We will probe... No. No. <laughs> Gotta go further into... No. No, 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 no. We'll... Explore? No. Mm. We'll have a gander. Hey. We'll have a gander into it. I always hate it as well. Like this next one, it starts with the word girl. Ooh, that can always come off a bit like... They didn't even get the hey. Mm, no. Girl in round glasses. Ooh. Oh, oh. Mm. Yeah, I see what you're Girl in round glasses and boat hat going downstairs into King's Cross Underground on Sunday afternoon who I exchanged a quasi-smile with. Oh, what? Stop. Stop. What? <laughs> she might have had a stroke. <laughs> that might just be how her face sits. What is wrong with you? Also, uh, you see, that's how you're... I, I, this guy is writing... Uh, he reminds me of the kind of person who will wear loafers with no socks and have uh, thick whole room spectacles mm. and drinks cold brew coffee. Yeah. Or maybe a nice Horlicks. Yeah, we shared a quasi-smile. Mm. It wasn't quite a it wasn't quite a half smile, but uh, yeah. but it was more than just a. <laughs> I mean, you know, not everyone would know what a quasi smile is. But, yeah, uh, I feel yeah. like you would. It's pretty new. Bring it in. I thought you looked absolutely amazing. I would love to get to know you. And uh, so here we go. I think he will maybe match your identification. Guy in tweed jacket, walking yep. the other way up the stairs. There you go. Also, if you're going to call yourself a guy who walks the other way up the stairs, you are <laughs> going to sound gay. <laughs> Sorry, bro. Yeah. But that might just be a little yeah, red right, flag right. going, oh, is it gay? Have you heard about, uh, you heard about Peter? He uh, walks the other way up the stairs, if you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> he takes the up escalator. Yeah. Uh, 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 woo- woo-y. Woo-y. He's been known to uh, grasp the left hand rail. Mm. So do you think she... Uh, She's going to get in touch with that tweed-wearing quasi-smiler. Uh, she's got round glasses and a boat a hat. She probably did. I can imagine her as well wearing DMs and a really short skirt in that way, like really thick bottom DMs. Yep. So there's just a long way between where it all ends and you just look at her and you go, oh, you fucking scene. <laughs> Ugh. You fucking scene. Scene twat. Scene wanker. This one. Small and perfectly formed. 
Uh-oh. That just means big tits. That literally just means big tits. Anytime I read perfectly formed, that is all it reads to me. Small and perfectly formed in the white top on the number 203. You are the ultimate proof that great things come in small packages. Up for a drink after work sometime. Also, pro tip, don't call yourself backseat guy. You sound like you want to bum them. Backseat guy. What this says to me is, little girl... Oh, oh yeah. What this says to me is, little woman with big tits, let me bum you. Which, to be fair, when you say it that well, bluntly, yeah. doesn't work. I've tried. Have you? You there, little woman with the big boobies. Bum? <laughs> no. I think your problem was that you're not saying it like a backseat guy. Mm. Oi, love. Yeah, you with the knockers. <laughs> Do you take it up as chuff? <laughs> Yo, baby. You got them big tits. Put an ass on my dick. <laughs> <laughs> or the ever popular. How suck on my dick? <laughs> with your ass. With your arse? <laughs> suck my dick with your arse! <laughs> Some reason that is the Scottish. <laughs> it's got to be Scottish. That is the most Scottish. Hey, girl, I'll bet you suck my dick with your arse. Oh, hen, why are you walking so funny? Oh, yesterday you made me suck his dick with my arse. Oh, <laughs> you're oh. right, hen. <laughs> oh, no wonder you're walking like John Wayne today. Oh. <laughs> That's the caring grandmother. Mm. <laughs> Nan, you know when <laughs> you know when oh, you know when, when granddad used to make <laughs> you suck his dick with your ass. How do you get over it? <laughs> well, I put one leg over and I just plop myself down. <laughs> That's not me how I got over it. That's how you do it. Right? <laughs> it's like stop complaining. Your brother Tommy seems to be getting on fine with you. <laughs> I've heard he walks the other way up the stairs. stairs if, if you know, know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> and. Oh. On that, on that cracking uh, on note. On that note, catch us next week for more crushing rushes <laughs> of the hour. Of the hour. And just remember, if you're going to go the other way up the stairs... The least you can do <laughs> is just suck <laughs> his dick with your ass. Suck his dick with your ass. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye.